Uh, you have to prove an identity, and the identity is as follows. Sine squared a, 1 plus 1 tan squared a, plus cos squared a, times 1 plus tan squared a. That is correct. Okay. Yep. All right. And now you're wanting to prove that this whole expression can be simplified into a perfect 2. Yes. All right. Okay, now... This is the trick section. It comes from paper two. It's LO3 in the grade 12 uh, syllabus. And uh, I'd like to know from you, what is your attempt, or what would an attempt be when trying to simplify that expression? What do you think you would do first? Okay, um, well, the first thing I, I noticed, but I don't know what to do with it, is that I know that 10 squared A is, is equal to sine squared uh, theta. Okay, wh what I mean is that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Perfect. That's, that's excellent. You've got your knowledge. Right. It's well-grounded. Yeah. Your foundations are superb. So let's work with that. That's fabulous. Um, just for everybody else, when you have an identity and you have sine, cos, and tan, that is too many unknowns. So we, we look at something that can be written as a common term. And the common term is sine and cos. Every ratio can be written in terms of sine and cos. In fact, tan can be yeah. written in terms of sine and cos. And when we reduce the number of unknowns to a fixed number, then it's much easier to add and it's much easier to divide as well because we can add like terms and we can divide factors that are like as well. So the first thing we do, it's correct, it's to change everything into a common ratio of sine and cos. And so what you've suggested is absolutely correct. Let's do that. We'll have a sine squared A and we're multiplying it by 1 plus 1 over sine squared a over cos squared a. That's correct. Okay. And we have another one on, on the end there, and that is 1 plus sine squared a over cos squared a. Right? And then you see, when you get a sum like this, you just... <laughs> My mind just switches off and now okay. I don't know what to do. No, no. What, what you have to do is you've got to focus, you've got to look at it carefully, you've got to take a okay. deep breath and just say, this is easy. Okay? All right. Okay. Here we go. You've done the most difficult, which yeah. is to transform the tan into the sine. The yeah. only thing that you see now is that you've got all these fractions that we've got to sort out. Yeah. And that's not difficult because what you do is you take a step back and you just say, let's read it. Let's read what it says. Okay. To try and get a global picture, don't get um, worried about the, the little bits and the fractions mm -hmm. and, and the horrible way it looks. Just yeah. try and take it step by step. So try and get a global view. By that okay. I mean, if we look at it, we say sine squared A times bracket yeah. plus cos squared A times bracket. Okay. Right, that's not difficult. Sine squared times bracket plus cos squared times bracket. Mm. That's not difficult. Okay, we've got the ratio times a bracket plus the ratio times a bracket. Now let's look at what's inside the bracket. Because if we're going to times the sign, we're going to times it by each of those terms. But before we do that, let's try and maybe simplify what's inside the bracket. Okay. We, have, we have a 1 plus 1 divided by that denominator. Yeah. Now, can you do something to this, denomin to this fraction over here, right here? Yeah. Can you do something to that? I think I can... Flip it around so that it's just sine um, minus sine squared a over cos a. I don't know. Because That's it's right. at the bottom. Can't you change the denominator into the numerator? That's correct. A division okay. is the same as multiplying yeah. by the reciprocal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Division is exactly the same. So now that we can simplify that a little bit, we simplify. As we look at it and as you see, oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do that. Things start developing. So you've got yeah. to take it one, one step at a time. So okay. we have sine squared and we'd like to really make that fraction much nicer. One divided by that becomes one times by the reciprocal. Cos squared okay. divided by sine squared. Okay. We've taken it easy plus the cos squared multiplied by the 1 oh, yeah. no, I see. I see. plus sine squared over cos squared. Right, now, 
I've got this fraction over here, and if you look carefully, we now have the sign that we said it's times bracket, so that's times the 1, and that's times that one there, and this cos is going to be multiplied by that 1, and by and that can term there. This, we can cancel cos. Okay, so sine squared yeah. times 1, that's easy, that's not difficult at all, that's just sine squared A, and then sine squared A times that fraction, can you see the sine squared will divide into the sine squared? Yeah, I can see it. Can see so we're left with what? With 1 plus cos squared A, I think. Cos squared A, correct, 100%. Yeah. So really what looked impossible has actually turned out into something so oh, simple. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. And then the next bracket? Um, it looks like uh, even the cos squared cancel, so it's just 1 No, no, no one the first one, the first one, be careful because you've got oh, two yeah, terms. Oh, yeah, So okay. cos squared A yeah. in the first term. Mm -hmm. And the second one, this cos squared and that cos squared is going to divide, become 1. So we are left with what? Plus sine squared A. So there's not much <coughs> trig here. All of this is algebra. It's oh, two terms yeah. that you're multiplying by 1. It's two terms that you're multiplying by 1. And we've simplified it down because those terms <coughs> divide into each other. Yeah. Okay? And then what do we get? Can you do and something with this? Just get, yeah, even the sine squared plus that equals, uh, I think, don't they cancel in the give you one or something? I don't know. What is sine squared A plus cos squared A? Oh, it's one and yes. one. One plus one. No. <laughs> one plus one is two. Okay. So okay. that's another one. That's a trig identity, hey? The oh, most yeah, powerful trig identity. If the angle's the same, and we've got yeah. squared, sine squared A and cos squared A, then that sum will now be equal to simple 2. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right, so it's not complicated at all. Let's go through yeah. the trig that you used. You, all you did was you used your tan into sine squared cos squared, and then you had a little bit of algebra to work through, just the terms. Yeah. We had a little reciprocal there. There's always a reciprocal somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it was the product of uh, the sine squared and the cos squared. And then we had this magic uh, trig identity at the bottom here that mm -hmm. gave us actually the one. So okay. don't worry. Deep breath and everything will be easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks it's for calling. That, yes. You know what happens? It's just that when you see that there's so many terms and there's not a lot of numbers or, or, or angles, it just gets a little bit confusing. That's why. Especially when you see it and just want to panic and want to run away and just get to the next question. No, so, yeah. no, no, not ever again. Now that you've been on Mass yeah. you will always yeah. look at these questions with a yeah. different eye. Okay.